In today's video, we are replaying Colin C10's Robotnik's Revenge because everyone said that the A rank was rubbish and there is an S rank. So today, I present to you Red Hot Sonic's Revenge as Tails. <laughs> Yes, we're taking another look at Robotnik's Revenge, this time as Tails. And this was suggested, even though I played it before, but actually I was in the mood for a boss rush, and I wanted to beat my previous time and see if I can get an S rank. I don't know if that's 8 minutes or 9 minutes, but that's what we're aiming for. And because we've done it before, don't worry, I am bringing out a brand new video tomorrow, and that's going to be a mini review of Sonic 1 for the Master System. So make sure to check that out, but for now, let's press the start button and go into time attack mode. Okay, so we're starting off with Death Egg Zone, which actually, if I recall correctly, all of the bosses appear in Death Egg Zone. Then it would save the transitioning of each level, and that will, like, you know, it won't break up the pace at all. That was way too close to a spike. Oh, I like to play it dangerously. Right, so that's Emerald Hill Zone boss done, and I believe the next one is Green Hill. It looks like, oh, I just missed it. It appears that way, doesn't it? Oh, that was jammy. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! No way! Okay. Oh, wow. I mean, oh, whoa. Okay, let's jump. So basically, what he's done here is that he's left the Sonic 2 physics in for each boss. Basically, that means in the original Sonic 1, once you jump on a boss, you don't exactly bounce off him very well. So, yeah, with this one, you can just keep bouncing on the Emerald Hill boss. Not Emerald Hill, the Green Hill Zone boss. Okay, so now we're doing the Aquatic Ruin. Ah, uh, uh, oh, man, he's still got the lemons tied to the side screen bug thingamajig. And Tails is actually doing this balancing act when he's on top of the totem pole completely. So we can't exactly spin dash into him here, which is fine. We'll just do it properly. Next boss, please. Um, what's the next one going to be? Ooh. Oh, marble, I think? Yes, marble. Yes. All oh, right. Okay. This is going to be risky. While I do that ball, that was too risky. Oh, <laughs> oh, I am on fire today. I I can smell that S rank. Whoa, okay, booster. Yep. Whoa, oh no. We know what's coming next, don't we? It's this one. It's this one. Ow, great start. <laughs> Perfect. It still has that bug though. The very first hit, he, you know, he just stays invulnerable for a very long time. Like a good like second or so. Uh, I fixed that in my games, but and obviously in this one, it is still applied. But it wasn't really much of a bother. There you go. He's defeated. Onto the Whoa, the screen just flashed out. I swear it did. Ah. Alright, this boss shouldn't be too hard if I just get him to come down straight away. Four. Bo oh, I should have had him by now. No, come on. Oh, come on. He should have been history by now. Uh, what? Tails, you're not Knuckles, you can actually jump higher than him. Whoa, I might have jumped too early there. Uh, oh no, the hilltop zone boss. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, that timing, I tell you. Fair play to Dr. Eggman there. Okay, so what's this? Oh god, I thought that was going to be a pit there for some reason. So what's the next one going to be? Ah, Mr. Cave. Okay, okay. Come on, two, three, four. I should really stop counting. You guys know how to count. <laughs> you can count for yourselves, I know. Oh, what? The screen had to stop me before it moved, didn't it? Oh, no. We all know what's coming next. <laughs> right, with this one, I don't think you have to actually defeat him. It'd be handy if Tails could fly here, to be honest. <gasps> Oh, that was too close! Way too close! <laughs> oh, I'm dicing with death here! <laughs> and my luck just ran out! <laughs> God, that got my heart pumping! Woo! What the hell was that? <laughs> I would go and have a look, but we're on a very tight schedule here with the Oil Ocean boss next, so I'll just throw a replay in. No, I'm not going to get another hit in that, so... Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so this is what's going to take so much of my time. Uh, I like the little boss counter at the top though. We've done 11 out of 17 bosses, which is... We're well over halfway. 
I'm doing brilliant for time then. I don't know how far I was with it last time. Um, I can't remember. I haven't really watched, don't really watch my old videos much. <laughs> um, what's this one? Oh no. Okay. Simple enough. I, I've done this boss a billion times. I know exactly when to hit. Just hit the front of his nozzle when the, uh, the front of the balloons go up. Or bubbles, whatever you want to call them. And if you hit him from the bottom, you can get two hits from him. Which sometimes is a bit quicker, to be fair. Come on. Ah! Oh, really? I was hoping to get that, but no, it didn't clinch it. Got, oh, come on, screen. Yeah, there we go. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> What's the next? Oh no! Oh no! I was—I've always been terrible at this boss. Actually, no, that's not fair to myself, is it? I'm not too bad at this boss. I have a pattern, and it works very well. It's just not the fastest. And everyone loves to send a spike ball at Robotnik's ass. <laughs> the designers of this game, or for this boss in particular, were geniuses. I love it. Uh, See, so this is the tactic I use. I used—I never bother with the left, and I just use the middle and the right. As soon as he drops one on the right, just lift it up. And then the one in the middle, I actually fling myself. It's a pretty good tactic. There probably is a quicker way of doing it, but I'm just so used to it. I know it works, and we need to get moving. Uh, oh, the Wing Fortress boss. Didn't even think of this one. Okay. Um. Ow. Oh, no. No way. i I got to take my time on this one. I've just got... I, I, I'm going to take my time on this one because I've run out of rings and I've, I've, you've got an infinite lives, which is good and all, but if I recall correctly, if you die, the timer doesn't reset, it stays as it is, which is obviously bad news. Please say there's some rings. It can't be the... L I was going to say, no way it isn't the <laughs> lava zone boss again. Please give me some rings, I was going to say. Oh no, this is going to take a while. Because he always appears in different places. Come on. Ah, thank God you're on this side. Okay. So, <laughs> this boss always takes a long time. Always does. Oh, you had to be on the other side. Yes! <laughs> got him. Got him. Okay. I like to sit in the middle, really. Because then if he does appear on the left-hand side, I can hit him. But chances are I'll die if I do that. And the right-hand side is just a lot safer, really. That's how I like to play it. And so far, the game's actually been good to me. It really has. Oh, it wasn't that time, though. <laughs> it wasn't that time. Oh, no, come on. Yes! Perfect! <laughs> I should spin dash, actually, to make this a bit quicker. All right, okay. So there's only two bosses left. So obviously it's going to be this one and then the Death Egg Zone boss, so yeah, the, the Egg Robo I should say. Yes, okay, perfect. Come on, come on, let's, let's move on, let's move on. Uh, right, so happening under 8 minutes is not going to happen. Can I get under 9 minutes? Hopefully that's an S rank. I was aiming for 8, but to be fair, I think I've been going pretty fast. Except from the final zone boss in Sonic 1, so that was the only thing that let me down, really. But I don't think I could have done it any quicker. Uh, honestly, with my skill, I couldn't have done it any quicker. But I could do this in nine minutes. No! Come on! Yes! Yeah, what, why is the timer still going? Stop! Stop timer! Stop timer! Timer! I can't, I have got, I'm not in control here. Yeah! An S rank it is, baby! Hey! Woo! There we go. I was actually faster with Tails than I was with Sonic. Ha! How ironic! <laughs> anyway, guys, that is Robotnik's Revenge. If you want to try it out for yourselves, the download link is in the description. Make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. And as always, a massive thank you to my sponsors. They get early access to videos and other goodies. And I know I played this game before, but don't worry, a brand new video is coming out tomorrow and it's going to be a review of Sonic 1 for the Master System. Make sure to check that out. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye for now.